Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Peter Kalmar, and I'm the co-chair of the first ever Organizational Development World Summit to be organized in Budapest in August 2010. We thought, on behalf of the organizing committee, the international team that is behind this initiative, that it's time to very shortly summarize why you should be here in August in Budapest. It was three years ago that a group of us thought that we need to organize an event where people, organizational development experts, consultants, leaders, and also academics should come together and define the future of our profession. It was then that we thought that something is going out there, something is emerging, and we need to find out the nature of this change and also the role that we can play in it. We contacted as many of the organizations as possible that are involved in supporting and generating change, also in developing organizations, teams and individuals. We found that they were all interested in coming together and cross-fertilizing each other, which means finding out ways that is across the boundaries of these organizations and across the different methodologies that we all believe in. In the development process, in the preparation, which involved a number of international guests as well, we came up with three central topics, one of them being cross-fertilization among the different methodologies, and the other two, non-conventional organizations and social impact. We are sure that there are a lot of non-conventional organizations out there which are already active and successful, and we can learn a lot from them because they are the models for the future. And we are also sure that we have to make sure that our knowledge, our experience, and our methodologies are actually transformed from the current sphere to the social arena. We are sure that we have to make an impact on the local and global level as a profession. The quality of a conference always depends on who is present. And I'm sure that those who have to be there will be there, and those who will be there will be the right persons. However, we made sure that the agenda is colorful and that you are going to be entertained and at the same time we will have meaningful dialogue and conversations throughout the four days that we spent together. We are going to start with inputs from different organizations uh, in the first two days after building community on the first evening. We are going to digest all this on the third day in a very special program which is actually organized in the wonderful spas and cafes of Budapest. And then practically through going to the cross-fertilization and the co-creation part, in a very interesting process, we are going to try to create solutions collectively, together, on the spot, in a way also organizing the conference for ourselves. We hope that this is going to be enjoyable for you and we'll make sure that whatever happens is joyful and meaningful. Last but not least, Budapest is a wonderful city. It's in the heart of Europe. Uh, it's cultural, it's fun, it's entertaining, and it's very colorful. Especially in August, when we have our national day on the 20th, with fireworks above the wonderful Danube, uh, with the Red Bull air race taking place on that day, with aircrafts flying under the chain bridge, and uh, all the amusement in the evenings, in the theaters, and also in the pubs. So, if uh, you just want to have a nice vacation, that's also a wonderful thing to combine the OD World Summit 2010 uh, with visiting our country and uh, Europe, if you're from another continent. All the best for you until then. Hope to see you soon. And uh, just, you know, check our website, www.odworldsummit.org, and register, become part of the community, and come to Budapest in August. Bye for now.